You're live. <laughs> Hello. You all right? <laughs> this is the English edition of uh, our Opus uh, Instagram video. So, well, this is my first video after returning full time. Welcome, mate. Yeah. Like to go up some some stuff today. Yeah, so we're gonna do some some technique things. So uh, I guess uh, first off, uh, I think Instagram has been pretty quiet on my behalf, and uh, there's been a few reasons. One is, uh, well, I guess I've been disenfranchised with the online universe. So I've been trying to keep it in house. Right? We've been trying to coach. I've been putting a few things on our private Facebook page. But nevertheless, uh, there's some content today I want to share. So uh, we're talking about what? The, the pull-up. The pull-up. We've got the different variations. Got the fancy grips. Okay, so we set it up so we can demonstrate a bunch of things. But uh, today's class, we're halfway through the day, and uh, there was an imam. And it involved, it said like 8 to 12 pull ups slash chest bar pull ups. But because it's an EMOM, which is, we like programming, it gives us a chance to practice our skill. And so it was a great chance for some people to be just slightly out of their comfort zone, whether they're doing a chest bar pull up or they're trying butterfly pull ups. And we're seeing various levels of successes, but it all narrows down really to one very simple uh, technical issue. So, Lewis, you want to demo some stuff? Yeah. Okay. So, I don't think he knows what I'm going to tell him. <laughs> okay. So, Lewis is just going to do a couple of beat swings first. So, he's going to go back and forth on the bar. Just back and forth. Good. And then just keep going, get a good flow going, a little pausing. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So, the reality is, is when he's going from his you know, arc body position, once he snaps out of this position, that's it. That's where the power is going to come from, from all of these kind of movements. Pull-ups, chest bar, muscle-ups, toast bar, the whole blanket. Where we go wrong is when we don't get all the power from this open position to this closed position, but then we try to, I don't know, I use a bad explanation, I call it humping the bar. So you're here and you're trying to then hip thrust your weight up. So, Lewis, let's just do some kipping pull-ups try to have a nice, tight, proper kip, and then transition to the improper kip, whenever you're ready, like a couple of reps of each. So snap now is what makes it happen. And then the improper one, right, he gets here and then he tries to, so as if I'm giving him a push up with the hips, he can rest. So that push up of the hips is the wrong place to be generating the force. So I'm going to demonstrate what most people do when they try to do a butterfly pull up and they, they, they kind of hip thrust in the wrong place. So, well let me backtrack. The, the, the two variations of the pull ups he did can have various levels of successes. So it's not to say if you do a pull up like that, you're like, oh Lewis makes, <laughs> it's not going to fly. You know, you can get, uh, you can be really successful at doing pull ups that way, like in the hundreds. You might be able to get the best score on the city, which is 5, 10, 15 pull-ups in a 20 minute hour round. You might be great at the work, uh, lots of things, but it's still not quite there. So here, let's gonna take that and show you what that looks like when we do a butterfly. So it's, instead of just having a nice little flow, it's... And so every time I thrust my head forward, it's a bit of a prayer of what my body position is going to look like when I'm at the bottom of the swing. But if I did that the opposite way and snapped right from this arch body, now I'm up here and I'm floating, I actually properly fall and I feel like time does kind of stay pretty slow. I'm properly following, my feet are getting behind me and I can snap through it. So maybe Lewis, you do some butterfly and pull up properly. He probably only knows the proper ish, but yeah, he's falling, he's setting up, snap, snap. Right? And so it's there where it needs to happen. So I guess the reason why I'm making this video is because we have to start making videos sometime. <laughs> uh, but two, it's because pretty much every class today, I try to communicate that in some way, shape, or form. But it, the, the beauty of it is I didn't really want it, it wasn't for a specific person. It wasn't like, oh yeah, to get your butterflies, you need to do this. It, and 
It was for the person doing chest bar. It was a person trying to do a butterfly. It was a person trying to be better at a pull up. It was universally the same fix. So that's the foundation of which you want to generate force to do your pull up. Does that, does that kind of make sense? Yeah. Anything you want to add? Uh, like gibber? Like keeping the tension in the in that snap that Jordan was talking about is like really important when we're going from stay there. Keep going. It's really important when we're going from like when we're trying to transition through those skills from the uh, kick to the butterfly like we were talking about. Just keeping that tension, that's what's gonna make one of the things that's gonna make a difference between success and uh, Alright, so I'm gonna, I don't know if you guys can see my feet, but I'm going to jump up to the pull-up bar. I've got a rag between my toes. If I do a regular pull-up, and I try to keep tension like you said, my feet are strong. I can do this pull-up. I start to kind of get that crazy bit, and I lose the rag right away. So that's one thing you could do to help um, keep that tension, as like I mentioned. And I'll show you maybe the ab mat next. Lewis is too tall for the ab mat. <laughs> Not a problem I have. But yeah. I... Right? No problem keeping the feet pushing together because of where I'm doing the kick. Um, yeah. What do you say, Lewis? You happy with your first video? Yeah. Let's uh, stop looking for the ball. Stop pumping the bar, yeah. The bar. Save your humps for the hip thrusts. <laughs> Clamshell hip thrusts today. Um, Alright. Till next time.